a well-paced story that highlights several timely issues, with a stimulating courtroom trial that makes it worth reading. So, let's review this book. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay tuned. A soul-stirring novel about what we choose to keep from our past and what we choose to leave behind. Olivia McAfee knows what it feels like to start over. Her picture-perfect life, living in Boston, married to a brilliant cardiothoracic surgeon, raising a beautiful son, Asher, was appended when her husband revealed a darker side. She never imagined she would end up back in her sleepy New Hampshire hometown, living in the house she grew up in, and taking over her father's beekeeping business. Asher and Lily start dating and fall in love. One day, Olivia gets a phone call from her son, telling her he's in jail for the murder of Lily. Olivia can't believe her son could or would do anything to hurt Lily, but in the back of her mind, she remembers the terrible temper of Asher's father and the few times she had a glimpse of that temper in Asher. The shocking murder of a teenager thrusts a small town into the headlines and destabilizes the lives of everyone who knew her. Olivia McAfee, a professional beekeeper and single mother, fled Boston and an abusive husband to try to give her son, Asher, a better life in small-town New Hampshire. Things go well for their first 12 years in Adams. Asher is a well-liked senior and captain of the high school hockey team. He barely remembers his abusive father. He and his mother have a great relationship, and he's preparing to go off to college. Then he meets Lily Campanello, a new girl who, like his mother, has fled a troubled past. Things get very serious quickly. Then, one afternoon after they've had a fight, Asher finds Lily dead at the bottom of her basement stairs. Before he even has time to grieve, he's arrested and charged with her murder. What follows is a long and public courtroom trial in which everyone's secrets are exposed and even his own mother begins to question his innocence. Told in two storylines, one Olivia's in the present and one Lily's, going backward from the day of her murder. The novel is well plotted, but sometimes feels long-winded, including characters who don't have much significance in details that don't seem relevant. It takes a while for the book to get moving, but once the trial begins, it becomes more compelling, and the courtroom scenes are where the writing shines brightest. The characters aren't as well-developed as they should be, though, often feeling wooden or monochromatic. Some always say the right thing, while others always say or do the wrong thing, and the ending is predictable. A well-paced story that highlights several timely issues, with a stimulating courtroom trial that makes it worth reading. Mad Honey is a riveting novel of suspense, an unforgettable love story, and a moving and powerful exploration of the secrets we keep and the risks we take in order to become ourselves. Mad Honey by Jody Picoult Jennifer Finney Boylan is one of my most anticipated reads of 2022, and it did not disappoint. I enjoyed the book very much, from the characters to the courtroom drama to the bees and the twist that took the book in a completely different direction. I will suggest every reader to give this book a try, and if anyone has already read it, share your experience in comments below. Also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for watching more book reviews.